So in situ hybridization, or you might hear ish, um, usually the first letter before that, so fish or sish or kish, is determined at, by what visualization you use. Um, fish would be fluorescent. So basically what we're doing is we're using a labeled um, probe that has a specific nucleic acid sequence um, so that we can localize specific DNA or RNA sequences in a tissue. For example, we can identify either a gene locus in a chromosome, we can identify a centromere in a chromosome, so that you can actually visualize and see that marker and see how many chromosomes do they have. Do they have an amplification of the gene locus? And so forth. So you can kind of see in the image there, the DNA strand, so it opens up and then you put that label on it and we can see the label is pink there. And then you see the end result, you have the chromosome and you have two pink dots showing you, you have two loci with, for that specific sequence.